Hi Rashid here, welcome back with another video. <clears throat> in today's video, we are looking into an, a very important topic and that is um, setup and timing relationship between clocks of different frequencies. Okay, And also keep in mind that both these clocks are right now I'm assuming they are coming from same PLR, means they are synchronous to each other. Their edges are aligned, okay, and they, they are predictable that they'll come the same time. Okay. So the the picture that um or the design that I'm thinking to visualize that is okay, you have a PLL, you have oscillator come clock coming in into PLL from PLL you have a divide by two, do you have a divide by four? Then both of these clocks go through mux, and we are not selecting one or zero, we are letting both clocks because there is a timing arc here, there's a timing here, so both clocks will move here. And these two flops are connected to the output of the mux. That means fast clock will come here, slow clock will come here, and fast and slow clock will come here too. That is interesting case. So now question is, from which clock to which clock we will have valid timing? Well, as I said, we just, um, so let's look into the possibilities, okay? So we can have timing from slow clock where this clock is slow and this clock is slow, right? We can have timing from fast, oh sorry, fast, and this is fast. Or we can have timing from slow to fast or fast to slow. Now you probably be thinking that, okay, this is a multiplexer ration. We cannot have both clocks active at the same time. Uh, but think of that, if we have this clock, um, so one of them is launch here, so, and the capture is a different edge, so, even though they're coming from multiplexer, maybe during this, this multiplexer is on, uh, sorry, this is what this branch is on and at this time is on. So um, I think for, uh, for setup, this is valid. Um, you can have slow to fast. For hold, I agree. However, for this example, I just realized that Hold probably uh, uh, it is always from the same edge to same edge, but let's assume uh, a more generic case because I want to talk about a little bit hold that okay we have a valid fast to slow um, uh, from slow to fast they can have both in both direction this can be slow launch and fast capture both setup and hold or fast launch and slow capture and hold. Right, so both these scenarios, let's assume but for setup and hold their valid. Because I want to teach you something which which assumes that. Okay. Um all right, let's look into <clears throat> or you can even think of that, okay. Here is we have a slow clock coming in. Okay, so you can think of that. Um whatever. Didn't mean to do this initially, but uh, yeah, we'll think of that. Here it is. Let's pick this one. So for the very first scenario, we look into a fast to slow. Okay, so this is fast, this is slow, even though both coming from the same PLR. So this is the first one. And then in the second one, we will look into um, this slow and this fast, but we, we can redraw this diagram. So first look into this, this scenario. So we have a fast clock <clears throat> and we have a slow clock. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So slow clock's period is two times the period of the fast. So by default, 
by default what kind of uh, the required edges for both setup calculation and the whole time calculation what are those so when when two clocks come together the timing engines within uh, whether it's a sign of timing engine or it's a timing engine within the uh, implementation tools uh, what they do is they try to make a common a multiple which contains um period of both clocks hmm. let me see if i'm saying it right now so look at this example so this period for the slow clock you need at least i'm just doing uh, these numbers are just time unit let's say star zero this is one this is two this is three this is four so you need at least four time units for slow clock to have a period but within four there are two period uh, two uh, two period two cycles of fast this is fine so you cannot pick a two because you know this this period completes but this doesn't so you need at least four once you have four then the timing engine just focuses on this first so within that once this edge is aligned this edge is aligned okay and within a line they are kind of at least both are going through at least one period then it tries to find out okay what is the worst setup so in this case we are looking from fast to slow so that means uh, this will have which um, so launch can happen here or here right and capture can happen only here you agree so that means for setup we have two possibilities one possibility is that it's launched here and captured here the other one is, is launched here and captured here from setup point of view setup record point of view, which one is more aggressive this one so by default <clears throat> you not telling the tool tool will pick this as the required setup so if you go and look into your timing report you will see that the launch edge will start at two time units and capture will be at four or this is the case okay what about hold so hold is um hold is always with respect to kind of setup all right so what happens to hold is it looks within that uh, for this setup what is the most pessimistic right so pessimistic is let's say uh, with respect to this edge so what is hold the whole what we are worried about is uh, this uh, the one launch here is not captured on the previous one i mean this capture is valid right but this one is not valid okay or you can say that uh, the launch on the next one which is actually this one is not captured here so in any case with respect to this one both this edge let's focus on this one it's already giving you pretty decent one you already start so late now let's look into a whole edge with respect to this with respect to this is assumed that what you launch here is not captured here it should be captured here right so what tool picked a whole edge uh, the most aggressive one with was with respect to this setup line and that it picked this one for setup it picked this one does that make sense however now the situation is hold seems seems all right but the setup you might have difficulties maybe we are uh, what if we are not able to meet timing and what we we go to the rtl person or designer or architect and that person tells us that 
hey guys you know what you're capturing on this one this is fine but actually the way i have designed this whole logic i'm always going to wait for the whole cycle of the capture clock so i think the you better assume that i am launching here yeah this is too small time my logic ensures that it's always kind of a launch here and you kind of wait for like a four time units for that so once you have that confirmation from designer right then designer is going to provide you officially not just verbally officially through proper communication okay where you have a full record of it because uh, these things um, need to be need to come officially with a proper reasoning and everything so that you have a good record of that i really threw a ticket through some sort of mechanism that uh, somebody a year later months later can always look back and see okay why somebody did this okay what if there is a problem in silicon and it comes back to that exception you say i got this exception and that person says I don't know when I give that. So you need to have a, a valid record for everybody. So what you do is now you are going to tell the tool about an exception in this case. So this is called an exception. Exception is you need to tell the tool that for setup, don't assume this worst scenario. Actually assume that launch is here and capture is here. There are different ways for writing exception and this is like adding an extra cycle is called a set multi-cycle. I think we already talked in the previous video, but it is called a set multi-cycle or MCP. So what you do is you say <clears throat> the set multi-cycle and it's a setup and I need an extra cycle. So by default is one cycle. If you want to get an extra cycle, you have to mention two. This is for setup. You want to get from slow clock, and here is a generic one now. And this these can be tricky sometimes when you write between the clouds. So you have to be really, really super careful that this is really the case for all kind of potential crossing from slow to fast. If one of them is not valid somehow, you you will be masking that because you're putting a very generic kind of multi-cycle. So you have to be super, super careful. So from slow clock which is wrong, it should be from fast clock. Okay. Uh, this one, all right. From fast to slow. Okay. Then this option is important because what I'm saying is the launch needs to move here. If you remember from the previous video, we move the capture one and we will do another video on the slow to fast in, in this type of um, mechanism and you will see that. But in this case, you need to mention dash start. So what happens now, now are if you've paired green one, it will set from launch here and capture here, which is correct from the setup point of view. But if you don't mention hold, as I mentioned in the previous video, only mention setup, then it's gonna change things for hold. So as a result of this green with MCP of two, your hold, because you are you're <clears throat> messing up with the with the capture edge, okay. What the hold does is it picks now this rise edge. And it assumes this capture is this one. I don't know if you if, try to make sense of it or not. Basically, the way I look at this one is, if you don't uh, mention hold, hold gonna be messy. It may be right, it may be wrong. And if this doesn't look right, okay. Uh, I was why tool has picked on that. I'm probably not spending much time. I don't know if there's a point in spending that. But the basic thing is that hold needs to move here. And if you follow the formula that I told you last time, always decrease hold by one. So if set up at two, hold is one. So mention hold one, also mention start. And now your hold will move here. So now your setup is this, hold is one, and now you have tackled the case of this exception. Hope you understood that. That was an important concept. Remember this one. 
in the next video what i'll do is i'll do a faster slow clap all right so see you in the next video thank you bye